Hey YouTube, just wanted to do a little update on some changes I've made to my little solar setup here that I'm sort of experimenting with. Um, first thing I did was I took away the old car battery that I used to have sitting over here because it wasn't it wasn't really good. So I just figured I'd get it out of the equation. Uh, and besides, for the amount of, amount of panels that I had for solar coming in, it was it was way too much for for even probably just this battery alone. But it it seems to do okay. Um, I picked up one of these ammeters just to see what I was getting off the little panels, and uh, Got this one off eBay and it works pretty good. And it was, uh, I think it was only about $10 or something with shipping and everything. Um, and uh, from what I've noticed on this meter here, with again, just the same four panels that I have inside right now, the uh, the regular 1.8 watt solar panels, there's four of them, you know, screwed to a board there. They usually sit outside when it's not raining, but I brought them in out of the weather because they're not actually designed to go outside. And I just found that out. But uh, anyways, apparently you're supposed to put a bead of silicone around it if you want to put them outside. But for now, I'll leave them in the window and uh, um, I'll put up my new panel. Um, today I went out and did some shopping. Um, I've been meaning to get around to it for the while for a while now. But uh, we got a, a new panel, a new addition, I guess you could say. Uh, this here is a 40 watt panel. I just picked this one up. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at this. Hopefully you can you can see this. Um, this panel, I can get it out of the box, sorry about the camera, and uh, there we go, so this is a 40 watt panel, uh, you know, not too big, but it's a start anyways, um, you can see the specs here, it's got a nice bead of silicone around here, Nice little junction box. Um, I think these are called the MC4 connectors, but I can't be sure. But they're uh, labeled positive and negative, which is nice. Um, what does it say here? Can't really focus. Anyways, um, maximum system voltage, 1,000 volts. I don't know what that means. If that makes any sense to anybody else, maybe you can comment. Um, Maximum power is 40 watts, 2.4 amps, uh, short circuit, open current voltage, 22.3 volts, uh, rated current amps, input 2.2 amps, rated voltage 18.2. So, again, not a huge panel, but uh, I'd like to get this one mounted and uh, get it up and see how it performs in comparison to the other little 1.8 watts I was using before. So... I'm going to put that up tomorrow um, and see how that works, get some conduit just out here in the shed. So that'll be, uh, that'll be my next little project, so I'm excited about putting that up and we'll see how that, that works out for us. But uh, the 1.8 watt solar panels just uh, weren't keeping up for the amount of draw I like to put on it. Right now I've got this uh, MotorMaster inverter here, it's only 75 watts and then i got an extension cord plugged in running this lamp and it's got uh, the two bulbs in it which has got our batteries down to 11.8 uh, you know and with those little panels that I've got there take quite a bit of quite a bit of sunshine to bring that back up to you know over 13 volts it's, it's kind of struggles a little bit but you know on a good day I'll see this ammeter here go just under a half amp um, I think each panel is rated for uh, 1.2, 125 milliamps. So I get about 400 out of the four of them that are there, and it's rated for five altogether. So not too bad for the amorphous cells. Um, and then I also picked up one of these uh, charge controllers here uh, to help the battery. Uh, it's an MPPT, um, just a solar solar charge controller. You've got your your panel inputs, uh, your batteries, and then what I assume would be your load. So, like I said, I'm just starting to figure all this out from all you wonderful people here on YouTube watching videos and so on and so forth. So, um, hopefully the MPPT helps a little bit. Um, it says in the paperwork and, and everything in here that, uh, you know, helps about 10 to 30 percent increase on uh, on what you would receive for solar. So, hopefully that works. It doesn't have a gauge on the front of it, so I'm gonna have to get a little a watt meter or something something separate to keep an eye on what's going on but for now I can I can use this baby here and uh, see what's going on with the batteries so anyways 
I won't keep you all. I just wanted to give you an update of uh, what's going on, and I'll get all this installed, and uh, hopefully it all works well. Thanks for watching.